Hi guys, this is just a quick video about the 3D printed air rifle I recently made. Um, I bought most of the part in China, but I'm currently studying in UK, so I guess it's perfectly legal here in UK to make your own air rifle. So hopefully I didn't break any law. The reason I made this is basically because I saw a video about Ludi's gun. Mr. Ludi make his own gun as a response to the government for banning all the firearms. And I made this for the same reason. Um, I made this as a response to the Chinese or perhaps Australian government for banning jet blasters. It is uh, an air rifle, so it's way, way, way more powerful than a jet blaster is. But it can be easily built. All its components can be either bought online or 3D printed at home and it shoots bearing balls which can also be easily bought. Um, but compared with Ludis gun, it, its design is way more rougher. Like here, the trigger assembly, it works perfectly but, uh, but to assemble them is really a nightmare. And I didn't realize it at that time, but now I realize some of the parts you can easily bought in China, but you may not that easy to get them here in UK. Like this file is Tingrish Evolve. It's Chinese standard, not British standard. They are different national standards, so they have different shapes. So the file is Tingrish Evolve you bought here in UK may not work on this design. Uh, but the concept are the same, so by modifying my drawings, yeah, it may work. Mm. Anyway, I up uploaded all my drawings and BOMs, hopefully in the descri description below. And let's take a close look at my design. Uh, it's a single shot bolt action air rifle. As you can see, it locks here. You place your bearing ball here in this hole. The, then, because bearing balls are made of steel, it will attract by this magnet here. By the way, uh, this rod is made of, it's not machine at home. It's just a part from a file extinguisher valve. It's in, initially placed here. You just take it and cut it with your Dremel. The hammer is moved, is placed here. Um, it has a slingshot system in it, so hopefully it won't waste that much air. Uh, it, the, there's a 3D printed screw here. I print it with quite a big tolerance because my 3D printer isn't very good. If your 3D printer are better than the one I have, you may find this is pretty loose, but it just works fine for me. By adjusting this screw, you can adjust the tension of the spring here. Then you can adjust the momentum of this hammer. Then the power of this air rifle can be adjusted, hopefully. Uh, this is the main valve. It's a CO2 file extinguisher valve. Um, it's a Chinese standard valve, so Different countries have different standards, so uh, my design may not uh, may not works in your country uh, for your valve. So you may want to modify my design to fit your valve. Uh, this is a, the air vessel. Uh, I use this uh, stainless steel extension pipe here. But stainless steel extension pipe are very difficult to buy here in UK. So you may want to replace it with some copper pipes. I initially did want to use copper pipes, but uh, I'm very bad at copper pipe soldering. So I just use this, this stainless steel pipe. Uh, this one is three millimeter thick and at a safety factor of four, it will hold at least five megapascal of air. Uh, it's now charged at about 
3 megapass con. Yeah, this is my air rifle. Oh, by the way, this BSA scope isn't a real one. It's just a Chinese knockoff. <laughs> yeah, this is my air rifle.